Hi, I'm Martin Bolt. I'm the uh, Program Director on the Bachelor of Product Design at Unitech. Uh, currently we're working with Tom Cochran from uh, Centre for uh, Learning and Teaching Innovation and our students are using uh, Web2 technologies on uh, all three levels of our undergrad program. Uh, our second and third years are using Nokia N95s um, and video blogging, um, uploading material, photographs, um, and also uh, typing, um, recording evaluative material, and uh, that's going pretty well. And our first years have just trialled uh, the use of iPhones, or are currently trialling the use of iPhones in their first year uh, ergonomics course, and uh, we're still yet to see the results of that. Um, Tom's asked me a few questions um, here. Question one, uh, the what potential benefits do I see for the uh, use of Mobile Web 2 enhancing teaching and learning? Um, we've been working with Tom for a, a couple of years now and, and uh, we've just seen the benefits grow and grow and that's why we've uh, introduced it on all three levels of the undergrad program. Um, I guess the first thing that we've witnessed has been uh, the enthusiasm for the students to use Web2 technologies. At first, um, the staff felt a little bit uncomfortable um, uh, blogging those sorts of things that are initially seen as, as uh, very Generation Y or um, net generation. But uh, the ease of use of the new uh, interfaces, programs like Vox and, and Blogger, um, enabled the staff to get on board quickly and feel that they had a level of confidence enough to then engage the students in the process. And then we looked at how we could engage um, the Web2 technologies from a pedagogical um, end and ensuring that we still met our, our uh, requirements for our undergrad teaching and learning outcomes. Um, and that's been really straightforward. It's been very easy to use them and we've been very pleased with, um, I guess, an increase in the uh, level of reflective comment from the students. Um, to give you an example, when a student does a design brief, they would be expected to research the context, the stakeholders, um, perhaps the market, <coughs> excuse me, the market potential, and then record their th thoughts and then hand in a research folder at the end of it. Now that research folder traditionally would be an A4 ring binder. And uh, we've seen the A4 ring binder replaced by this wonderful, rich um, uh, well, website or blog that has not only um, uh, original content typed by the students, um, that's where we've seen an increase, but but quite deep reflective thinking on the on the design process, and then that's further enhanced with um, digital photography, um, downloads from the internet, hyperlinks, um, websites, um, and and it's all well referenced. So um, across the board, we would say that that teaching and learning's definitely been enhanced. There's just there's no doubt about it. Um, even from an assessment point of view, we're able to go and look at the blogs any time of the day or night, get together around a, a laptop or a computer from an assessment point of view and actually see the students' um, work and click on the hyperlinks uh, and, and see what they've been looking at, read their comments, look at their original photography. So we're seeing a, an increase in original content. And uh, I guess the next level is the, the collaboration that we're seeing. So we're seeing the students uh, looking at each other's blogs, commenting, working together in teams. Um, so for us it's been a win-win situation. Um, I, I guess I've also answered question two. Have we seen an increased engagement in the course from the students when using this, this technology? Um, there's no doubt some students feel a little uncomfortable, just like some staff do. Uh, so the, the students, um, while they may be great users of the internet, they're not always great contributors. And uh, recently we did a project. Um, I've been away on an exchange in Ireland for five months at the University of Limerick, and we used uh, the second year classes to run a common design brief and that design brief, uh, we use blogs to connect the students across the across the time zones, and uh, to comment on each other's work. 
and that was that was really successful. And uh, when we surveyed the students on SurveyMonkey.com, at the end of it, uh, about seventy five percent of the students had never blogged before, but ninety five percent of them enjoyed it, found it useful, and would definitely blog again. So so you know again, happy with the results, happy with the outcomes, and uh, the students seem to be enjoying it. We've definitely tried to manage the um, introduction of Web2 technologies, uh, especially for mature students, it can seem quite overwhelming. Some of the language, um, weblogs, blogging, um, uh, instant messaging, and those sorts of things, uh, podcasting, uh, can be quite overwhelming for someone who's just arrived at university, perhaps having returned to university or, or a polytech for um having not studied since their, their early 20s or late teens and now they're in their 30s or 40s because we, we have a number of mature students on our program. But again, they've, they've got into it and we find team working and collaborative work assists that. So that's really, really been good for the mature students and the younger school leavers, of course, jump into it, boots and all. So that's been good. Um, any key issues for us integrating this technology into our course? Um, we have we we have one downside, and that is that being a design course, we require our students to draw a lot, and the perception of some of our lecturers has been that since we put wireless internet services in our studios, and uh, that our students have become the highest users of wireless internet and laptops on the campus that we are now seeing design students hunched over laptops um, eight hours a day and the, there's definitely been a drop off in drawing and we're quite concerned about that. Now that just may mean that we intervene a little more and uh, perhaps even reach up and <laughs> switch off the uh, the hub. So, uh, um, But we must actually insist on the students drawing. It's still a key requirement of our course and, and so we're finding the Web2 technologies are definitely dominating the research phase of their project but they're also causing a delay in the students commencing the uh, creative drawing element of their projects. Um, I think all the staff involved have, uh, have got on board and are looking to extend their own capabilities in using Web2 technologies. Uh, the question being how can we perhaps even afford to do this um, once Tom's research project finishes and uh, the students have their Nokia N95s and their iPhones taken away from them, you know, there's a question as to should we require this as a, as a purchase and uh, for students coming into the course. And I think we'll sit down and review that um, probably at the end of this year and, and look to, to consider whether this is a core component of the future of design teaching. Thanks very much.